ESPN's Ron Jaworski, a guy I think we both respect quite a bit, Brock, for the amount of effort and work he puts into anything he does. Coming out with his list of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, and to see Matt Flynn at 27, I know it's not the end of the world, I know it's early, but I still would love to see him higher than that. <laughs> Where was Tavares Jackson? Well, he's not on that list. That's right. At least we don't think he's going to be. Maybe nope. he's number two. I don't know. Nope. Uh, but we did see that uh, he's just a couple spots ahead. Blaine Gabbert, who I would argue is maybe the worst quarterback Last starting year. in the NFL right now. He's at number 29 or 30. Uh, and then just ahead of him at number 26 is Matt Moore. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I would hope that most Seahawks fans would rather have Matt Flynn than Matt Moore. And yet... That's what Ron Jaworski has. I'll credit Ron Jaworski because you know what that's indicative of? This guy hasn't done much. He's played two games. I, I frankly would have been shocked if he would have been anywhere above number 20. Yeah, maybe as you look at 20 through 28 or 29 here, you also have a lot of inexperienced guys that haven't taken that next step. I think the key guy to watch here, and I'll be curious where Ron Jaworski has Alex Smith. Okay, I can bring up the name Matt Hasselbeck, and that's a name everyone's familiar with, but I think in year one here, in the way that Pete Carroll wants to run this thing, run the ball, play great defense, Alex Smith last year, that's the reason they targeted him. Remember, the Seahawks talked to Alex Smith a year ago because they want Matt Flynn to be that, be the facilitator. Throw 17 touchdowns downs and four interceptions. Okay, you're not going to be in the top 15, but see where Alex Smith is on that list. I think that's a good target for Matt Flynn. I'd like year to one. see him get into the top 15, though. This team is going to compete. We need this passing game to do something. We know they're going to run the ball somewhat effectively. We know they're going to play great defense. At least I think they're safe assumptions. But in order to actually be a team that can win 10, 11, I don't know, 12 games, win a playoff game, do something, go deep, I think we need to see some level of a passing game. Number 27 on that list, yeah. if he does this list again at the end of the year, yeah. That's not going to be enough. Right now, fine. No problem. He hasn't proven it. And that's been my question all along. Show me on the field who you are. But when we retake this list at the end of the year, or he does it next year, I hope that Matt Flynn is going to be somewhere in the top 15, 16, and then we'll know that the Seahawks have something going. Probably the best point he's made all week.